osteoporosis, a problem that's not only afflicting women, but is definitely afflicting men, or osteopenia, which is the beginning of osteoporosis, uh, which uh, is the weakness, the weakness in the bones. Uh, I'm going to give you a few answers to it. I don't like all the medications on the market, the Actimel, the Fosamex. Uh, first of all, they're all aimed at women, which uh, and now we're finding it's just as much a problem with men. A Bonivo, you know, and, and here's the treatment, uh, progesterone cream. It's been shown to build strong bones. Dr. John Lee, the late Dr. Lee, has done lots of the work on that. And uh, I recommend three quarters of an inch in the morning, three quarters of an inch at night. And this is something that you should have bone mineral density test to see if it's making a difference. I think that's important. You know, like everything else, you have to make sure that it's working. If you're taking any type of acid blocking drugs, Nexium, Premis, and Prilosec, you may have trouble because that will block the calcium from being absorbed and what will not help uh, uh, alleviate or reduce your osteoporosis. Secondly, vitamin D3 has been shown to be immensely valuable. I recommend now 5,000 units a day if someone has osteoporosis. And also have your blood levels checked of, of vitamin D3 because those levels should be above 50. That's the kind of the magic number for osteoporosis. The third thing I recommend would be a multivitamin, the Home First multivitamin with probiotics and vitamin D. We have 2,000 units in ours, which is enough for almost everybody, but not if you have osteoporosis. Uh, we also have probiotics, and that's also been shown to help with um, osteoporosis. So the three treatment, men and women, progesterone cream. For the men, I recommend a lower dose. Uh, um, uh, uh, just, I, well, I use the men's. I would use the same doses but with the men's. I also recommend the vitamin D3, 5,000 units a day, and the home first multivitamin with probiotics. And regular checks to make sure that you're Bone mineral density numbers are going up.